During the Tuesday prayer gathering at the City of Jesus International Ministry on October 3, 2023, Mr. Stephen and Nan attended with hearts filled with prayer and a complete reliance on God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit for their spiritual and physical liberation. Mr. Stephen had been grappling with a multitude of life challenges brought about by malevolent forces including Satan, Lucifer, and snakes. These evil entities had inflicted Mr. Stephen with feelings of fear, doubt, lust, and physical ailments such as irritable bowel syndrome. However, the man of God, Christopher Orgy, who emanated the spirit of truth and grace, intervened. Upon his entrance, the various adversities tormenting Mr. Stephen were immediately seized and obliterated by the fiery presence of the Holy Spirit. In this moment, Mr. Stephen was proclaimed free to the exaltation of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Introduce yourselves once again. My name is Steven. I'm from origin from Myanmar, but living in Thailand. And this is Nan. Nan. She's from Thailand. We came all the way from Thailand. Which part of Thailand? From? I'm from Bangkok. Good. From Bangkok, Thailand. Yes. All right. What do you do for a living? Uh, right now, um, for personally for me, I'm at a crossroad deciding to pursue medicine or ministry. So I'm at a crossroad right now. Uh -huh. Selling cosmetics uh -huh. and yeah, sell online, online marketing. She does business. <laughs> yeah. What kind of business do you do online? Uh, cosmetics. Cosmetics. Alright, what about your parents? Uh, my parents, I come from a, I'm a fourth generation Christian. I come from a missionary family. My parents are missionaries and my dad's a pastor as well. Personally for me, um, I became truly born again earlier this year. And uh, all of a sudden receiving evil attacks out of the blue. That's why, that's what brought me here as well. Yeah. What's the nature of the attacks you received? What kind of attacks? It's been wide range of attacks, man of God. It started in May and um, it's just, it started with just fear and all of a sudden uh, terror attacks, night terrors. And um, one night in May when I was praying and I, was, uh, I came to the Lord and I was on fire for the Lord. Honestly, to be told, I've been living in the worldly life before and I came back to the Lord. And in May, it just hit like a train. Uh, I was praying in the spirit and I all of a sudden, something manifested um, at night when I was praying in the uh, spirit. What form did it come? <coughs> it's, like, it it's like, uh, and like, I couldn't control my body. And um, ever since after that manifestation, I called a friend who's into deliverance. He's in Japan. He, I called him right away. He delivered me that night. And it all started with the deliverance process. Um, I started delivering. And in June, what happened was during a session uh, with a deliverance session, there's this voice that came to me during the session. It, and it's like the voice of God, but it's not the voice of God. I found out later. Um, it interrupted the deliverance session and it gave me this kind of anointing. And it something, I felt like something entered my body. I felt the vibration throughout my entire body from head to toe. It's like a, something, a cloak. I saw a vision, like a cloak entered my body. I don't know what it was, but ever since that day, everything just went 10 times worse. And that day, later on, the voice said I was the next son of man, which I realized, oh, this is not the voice of God. This is something strange. And that, during that day, at that time when I was seeing the vision, the fake vision, the fake, the fake voice of God, I felt like so strange my arms and my legs were like buzzing with energy i don't i don't know what it was i was completely lost ever since then my health started to decline more attacks um what kind of sickness do you have i have irritable bowel syndrome uh, before this man of god i was completely healthy completely normal in my entire life and all of a sudden irritable bowel syndrome uh, whenever i would pray or even 
uh, worship God, or even um, just read the Bible, complete tiredness, fatigue, and uh, I just continue to start the deliverance process again. Um, I didn't know, I had no idea, I was completely lost, I don't know what to do, and I don't know where to go for wise counsel because we don't have a deliverance ministry that sort in Thailand as well. So I was getting all kinds of attacks of um, fear, uh, night attacks, nightmares, eating in the dreams, all of a sudden. And when I was puking the during deliverance, I puking blood out as well, which is so strange and dark substances. Um, and uh, right now things have subsided. Start the symptoms have started to subside after deliverance. A lot of deliverance. It's been four or five months of deliverance. It's just very exhausting. And um, right now there's sometimes. I feel attacked still, like inside me, I feel like some, it's very hard to describe. I just go mentally crazy for a moment. Um, she can, she can also attest, I, I nearly went crazy in June and July. I couldn't even get out of the house. I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. I don't know, like, I can't even look at other people in the mirror, I mean, in their face when I'm talking to them as well. It's just this unnecessary fear. And I lost the ability to even think, to even speak uh, to people. And it just came out of nowhere. It hit me just like a truck uh, out of nowhere. And uh, it is only by the grace of God I'm still able to function, able to stand and be here today too. So how did you finally decide to it's uh, my friend, uh, the Japanese uh, friend, uh, who was helping me throughout this whole process. Uh, he's um, mentioned about City of Jesus International Ministries. I've known you as well from before, Senior Prophet TV Joshua, and he also reminded me of uh, the other ministry here, and this is what brought me here today. Uh, to receive counsel and and to see what the Lord um, has in plan for me. You talked about saving lives of sin. What are those lives? Before um, I was living a worldly life, man of God, I was into immorality, mm -hmm. uh, also partying and drugs and alcohol before. Uh, that was before I truly came to know the love of Jesus. I was honestly raised in a Christian family, but my parents are missionaries. So they've been out and about uh, uh, serving the Lord. And it's, I haven't really had that intimate, divine connection with God before until this year. And when I came to the Lord, it's just completely, the enemy just targeted me. And I was an infant, a spiritual infant, coming back to the Lord, and uh, I didn't know how to defend myself. I didn't know how to uh, tackle the situation. You came, and on Sunday, you were giving prophetic messages, and at the same time, you were praying. You and your wife, what did you notice since then? So right now, um, we have been uh, self-reflecting uh, uh, based on a prophetic word, and uh, mentioned that you know God has called us to serve him and, and we have been you know discussing before as well on how to proceed the next uh, step in our chapter of our lives and uh, she's been also pondering on whether she should pursue uh, further business or also pursue to serve God so it's been a very um, word of confirmation for us uh, based on the prophecy that you've given us, man of God. All right. So, are you ready for your deliverance and complete freedom? Now, yes, man. Okay, let's hear from you. This is the Go ahead, man. Your name is? Um, my name is Nan from Thailand. Good. And who is in to you? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, she, she's my girlfriend. 
meaning you have the confidence. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, what do you make out of the words of prophecy you received on Sunday? Prophecy na patabi mo palo ay nabo or na tawa mo palo talaga. Prophecy to Sunday na di halo ay palo talaga. Maya nga, maya nga palo ay hapya sa gato ay palo talaga. She said she's very blessed uh, with the uh, prophecy that she received and uh, she confirmed that we have to work together uh, for, for the work of God and uh, she was also accept that uh, uh, to pursue the Lord's work uh, for the next chapter in her life. All right, so there shouldn't be any fear whether you people are meant to be together as husband and wife. So marriage is a heart-to-heart -heart agreement to form a godly home. As a matter of you agreeing, yourself agreeing, coming together in Christ to form a godly home. That is what marriage is all about. It's a heart of marriage. Yes. So I believe you have reached that stage. You yes. actually agree. Yes. All right. Yes. So what are your own personal challenges? You talked about this. Uh, she said ever since she was young, she, she was in a, in a broken family, brokenness, and she has a, just very easy to be hurt. Growing up, she's been treated wrongly, and um, also uh, so much trauma, and um, also whenever she gets angry, there's this voice in her head to start destroying things, also kill herself, and to just explode and just uncontrolled rage based on the traumas that she has been experienced when she was growing up. And she has a fear of um, timidness to um, socialize with people and just a lack of confidence because of the upbringing. All right, is she ready to open up and confess her past lives of sin before she came to know God better? Go ahead. Yes, she can go ahead. Yes, approval now the memory. What were the things he said? Uh, she said, Lord, please forgive me for all the wrongdoings that she has done in her life, all the wrong immorality, all the things that she has mistaken said against her parents. Uh, every known and unknown sins, Father, please forgive me. All right, tell her that she should learn to forgive the parents. She must forgive them and not always blame them. Okay? Whatever happened in the past happened to strengthen her desire for God, to bring her closer to God. Yeah, the 
Uh, she said that like, uh, whenever things come up in her mind, Manaka, she thinks that she's forgiven them. But how do you know that you've truly forgiven someone? Um, yeah, she, she's confused on forgiveness. How do you, she asks, how do you truly know if you've truly forgiven someone? You know that you have truly forgiven somebody when you start seeing the person as someone who has never sinned against you. She should also forgive people that hurt her. Many people took advantage of her condition and caused her pain. Yes. Yes. So she has to make it as for sure. Yes, Yes, she said that's very true. Alright, right now God has already forgiven you and forgiven you as well. So you need to be a channel of forgiveness to other people. You must learn to forgive yourself. You must know that God has set you free. You are no longer guilty. And then you should also acquit other people of their sins. You don't see them as people that have offended you, people that are guilty of one sin or the other. Let your heart be free from unforgiveness, bitterness, and memories of the pain of the past. As for you, you can still complete your studies. That you are working for God does not mean you will not further your education. You can complete your studies, become professional in your field, and at the same time, allow yourself to do your job with the fear of God in your heart. Okay? So that is our prophetic advice to you. Thank you. And also to you. Okay? So we are going to pray for you now. People would want to know and hear from you. What are your experiences in life? Many people used to be afraid. I don't want to go to Nigeria. It's full of this and that. People are saying many things. People are afraid. Say, Enugu State. What is happening in Enugu State? Can we come? Are we going to be secure? Are we going to be safe and sound? Tell them that I was. ตัวเสียเปียวเลยตัวที่มาไลฟ์ด้วยตัวเปียวไปมาเลยนะจีเรียมาไลฟ์อินดูกูสเตย์มาไลฟ์ครับเปียวพี่เลยวันนั้นเ
that yes. people being prophesied to accurately. Yes. And people also being prayed for and they receive their healing. Yes. Yesterday you were in the service yes. on Sunday. Yes. You witnessed everything from the beginning to the end. Can you tell viewers your experiences? เมื่อเมื่ออาทิตย์ที่แล้วค่ะตอนที่เข้าบทไปนะแบบได้รู้สึกพลังของพระเจ้าแบบล้มเต็มมากเลยค่ะของพระของพระเจ้าล้มเต
we had the privilege and honor to be part of the service, and it's just such an amazing time to witness the powerful movement of God over here and how God is using the man of God, Christopher, here to minister to people, to heal people, and to deliver people, and to receive prophetic word. And、uh, we've also received our prophetic. Or yesterday from the Lord, and it's just been such a tremendous experience. And we truly, truly encourage our friends and family and back in Thailand to visit、uh, City of Jesus International Ministries here.、Uh, people may think、um, Nigeria in a different light, but I assure you that here at、uh, City of Jesus International Ministries in the Nibu State, everything the churches、uh, in the church compound they assure you with the perfect. Uh, security and as well as accommodation and as well as the,、uh, the food here and the food has been just amazing. <laughs> it's been amazing here at the church and the lodging as well has just been wow. It's just beyond what we've expected and we're just truly, truly grateful to the Lord. And guess what? Everything that we've been experienced here, by the grace of God, the prayers, even the prophetic word, it's all pre-charged. Just you know. And it's just amazing how we've been truly blessed by this experience. We just truly thank Seed of Jesus International Ministries and the man of God and the woman of God to warmly welcome us and receive us. And we truly encourage all of you back home in Thailand to come here and experience what the Lord has in store for you. Thank you so much, and may God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. The minister wants to say freely I have received and freely I give. So what do you have to say? Yes, we truly experienced.、Um, Now the man of God here says, "Freely have I received, and freely is given to you." And we've truly experienced that being here in person, and everything that we've been experiencing, none of it has been, you know, everything's just been by the grace of God, and we're truly blessed. And we, we just want to thank the church and thank the man of God and the woman of God for everything,、uh, just beyond、uh, what we expected, and we truly thank the Lord for. All he has done, and all he has、uh, for the experience here. Did you pay any money for all these things? We did not pay any money for this experience. It's truly a great, the greatest blessing. All right, so we are going to pray for you now. You will not only have a safe, sweet, and very, very, very sound journey back home. But also, everything about you have been touched by God to function to His glory. Meaning, your health will be completely restored. Your memory is restored back. Your spiritual life is rekindled by God to work for Him. And also, your career will blossom. Meaning, you will be extremely fruitful. Your profession will also. Use everything God has given to you to work for Him. Likewise, herself will be focused, not being distracted, not being distracted. Meaning she will be very, very helpful as a wife to this ministry and also to your career and to this marriage. She will become fruitful as well in Jesus Christ's name. So right now, let us pray. Call the Lord Jesus. I send fire to you, demon. You thought you could hide. I saw you yesterday, and I left today to be the day you were exposed. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire. Satan, <laughs> Lucifer, <laughs> serpent to the snake. Fire! <laughs> Fire! Boom! I sell fire to the marine world and to the wind. 
of the coast, spirit of sexual immorality, madness, depression, depression. I sell fire to the family and to the ministry. I sell fire to the spiritual life and I command deliverance to take place now. Holy Ghost. Turn the devil Jesus Christ. That spirit of Antichrist that never wanted him to work for God. I sell fire to the married world and I command you, spirit wife, spirit of Antichrist, and snake to be completely destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ! Why did you enter him? Uh, Why? To stop him. To stop him from doing what? Uh, serving God. Speak and answer me! Serving God. Who are you that entered him to stop him from serving God? Uh, what is your name? Uh, speak quickly. Lucifer. Yeah, speak you, Lucifer. How do you operate? Torment. Let this man raise his face while you speak. Do that quickly. Let him raise his face while you speak. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. What did you say you have been doing to him? Torment. How have you been tormenting this young man? How? What have you been using to torment him, Lucifer? Mental attack. There are so many people that are mentally deranged. Many people are depressed. Some are running mad. Some are in psychiatric hospitals. Some cannot reason at all. Some become extremely violent. Who is the cause? Who has possessed people and caused them to be mentally deranged? Ah, you, Lucifer, speak quickly. Who is the child of madness? Raise the face and speak quickly. Who is the judge of madness and mental issues? Huh? What else have you done to him apart from giving him mental problem? What else have you done to him? You tried to kill him. How? Suicide. How many times did you cause him to become suicidal to try to kill himself? How many times, you Lucifer? Many times. Oh, we needed to stop him from pursuing God. <sighs> the parents are Christians. <sighs> And they are believers. They are pastors. Why did you want to stop this young man from serving God? Why? He's dangerous. What gift has God given to him that you want to destroy? You lose him. Leadership. What have you done to his health apart from causing him to be mentally deranged? He's talking about ball syndrome. Head tensions, attack, head attacks. He used to have series of attacks. Yes. Explain what are the nature of the attacks. Give examples of those attacks you've been causing him. Anxiety. He talks about lives of sin he lived in the past, like sexual immorality, smoking, and drunkenness. Who caused him to be living such a life? Me. Who are you? Mention your names. Joseph. What about your spiritual wife? <clears throat> the queen of the coast. What are you doing in him? <clears throat> what is your plan against his marriage? Destroy. How? Destroy. What did you plan to use to destroy his marriage? What did you plan to use? Cause him to sin. What kind of sin? Immorality. Meaning you want him to become unfaithful? Yes. Turn the devil, Jesus Christ! How many people all around the world have you caused to become mad? Caused to be unfaithful? And caused to live lives of sin? You, Lucifer? Many. Do you have any particular choice 
Do you only attack the blacks or you also attack the black and white people? Do you attack everybody? Whether they are from the north, south, east, and west. Oh. What have you been using to attack all? Sure. You, Satan, what have you done to his family, to the parents? The parents are ministers of God. What have you done to their ministry? Start to destroy. How? What is happening to the ministry of the father and mother of this young man? Discord. This young man attended service here at the city of Jesus International Ministry on Sunday. And a message was given. And he also received prophetic messages. What do you have to say, you Lucifer, Satan, and spiritual wife? What is in the city of Jesus that exposed you and that will destroy all of you evil spirits? You saw me. Where? Yesterday. Mention your name. <laughs> now that you are exposed here, will you continue to attack him or you will be completely destroyed? Yes or no? Yes. I'll be completely destroyed. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Now remove madness from him. Pull out a mental problem. Put him out! Loss of memory. Anger. Remove suicide. Remove suicide. Spirit of lust and fornication. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remove the addiction to smoking. Addition to drugs. Addition to drunkenness. Turn the heart. I sell fire to the heart and stomach. And I sell fire to the irritable bowel syndrome and I command the poison. The evil sicknesses and diseases to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Life alone. <coughs> Leave his marriage and spiritual life. Watch the screen and see that dark substances come out. These are terrible poison of Satan, snake, Lucifer, forces of madness that contaminated his brain and every part of his life coming out as the Spirit of God is flushing them out. Remember what the Bible says in Matthew 15, verse 13. Anything that is not planted by God, the Heavenly Father, must be uprooted, gathered together, and burnt by the fire of the Holy Spirit. That is what is happening. What? Holy Ghost. Jesus! I sell fire to his country, and I stand against all unseen enemies. Uh, Lucifer, uh, serpent, uh, Satan, uh, witches and wizards, uh, all antichrist spirits, uh, spiritual wives, uh, spiritual husband, uh, spirit of illuminati, sorcery, divination, confusion. No, Jesus Christ! You cannot kill him. I sell fire to his marriage life and I command deliverance to take place. No, Jesus Christ! Leave his marriage. Leave his marriage! Leave his marriage. <coughs> Remove your covenant rings. Put them out. The covenant rings in his hands. Put them out. Turn the hands, the fingers. The covenant rings. The rings. Turn. Turn. 
the rings. Throw the rings. Throw the rings. Throw the rings. Pull them out, all of them. Pull them out quickly. Put all of them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Anxiety, suicide, pain. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn. I sell fire to his mind and I stand against mind controlling demons. Voices of Lucifer, voices of Satan, voices of sins and sinful desires. I command these evil voices to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn! Turn! Turn your evil kingdoms. Your kingdoms. Turn! If you fail to know that there are evil powers that are causing you to have mental problems, various sicknesses and diseases, to become suicidal, to work against God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and to live lives of saints and sinful desires, then you are fighting a battle that you will never win. Church is a place where evil spirits like these should not be allowed to hide. All the forces of darkness that are against him, his life, his health, his destiny, his career, and the ministry God has given to the family is what the Spirit of God here at the City of Jesus International Ministry has finally exposed and completely destroyed as you are watching Save the devil, Jesus Christ! Live his heart, his soul. Live his soul! Save! Save! Right now, I command him to receive forgiveness of his sins. I command his life to be sanctified by God. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I command him to receive eternal life. I command him to receive a pure heart. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Receive. He was watched. A pure heart has just entered now. And Satan has been dislodged. Lucifer has been dislodged. The snake has been dislodged. Spiritual wife, madness and the likes are completely flushed out of this body. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! <laughs> spiritually evoked into him, planted into him by the unseen enemies of his life. 
Oh. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Fire. Oh. Oh. Fire. Now I send fire to the mind. The mind. The mind. Fire in the mind. The brain. Fire. Fire in the mind. Fire. Fire. Leave his mind alone. I sell fire to the crown of Satan, Lucifer, snake. Fire! 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 I sell fire to his career, medical career, and I command deliverance to take place. Jesus Christ. He must complete his course. You cannot stop him. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. All monitoring demons. Monitoring spirits that have been sent to monitor him and follow him. I command all of you to be destroyed. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers who have been watching, <sighs> people from various races being delivered online, and you are watching it happening here, physically, at the prayer room of the City of Jesus International Ministry. What is happening to your doubts? What is happening to your fears? And what is happening to all the questions you have in your heart? They are being answered practically here. Watch. We a prayer for that. Thank the name of Jesus Christ! You cannot be used by God without deliverance. You cannot be used by God. If your spirit is not taken out of the kingdom of darkness, and finally placed into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God forever. Ask Apostle Paul and he will tell you. Colossians chapter 1, verses 12 to 14. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! Turn! See how dark and thick that seemed to be. Imagine how they were hooked. Into <sighs> Once the Holy Spirit has finished operating and flushing out everything, he will be declared free. And the freedom will be permanent. Lord. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ! I sell fire to the source of the spirit of fornication, mm -hmm. masturbation, lust. Mm -hmm. I sell fire to you, ancient dragon, mm -hmm. in charge of sexual activities, and I command all of you to be destroyed mm -hmm. by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> There are sicknesses and diseases that are caused by Satan, Lucifer, Snake, 
Oh. Witches and wizards. Wow. Queen of the coast. Oh. Idols. Marine agents of all kinds, rams and authorities. Oh. Occultic spirits. Evil forces that are hiding in the kingdom of darkness to operate. Such sicknesses and diseases cannot be medically attended to because there are evil spirits behind them that are causing people to be bowed down and to be in pain, to be in agony, to be uncomfortable. The essence of such sicknesses and diseases is just to cause people to be in pain and not to worship God in spirit and in truth. Such sicknesses and diseases can be used by evil spirits to siphon your finances, crumble your efforts, destroy your peace and joy. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of peace, spirit of joy. He wants the best for you, complete good health. He wants you to live a life that is free from pain, discomfort, anguish, and the like. Do you what you will prepare for God? Turn the name of Jesus Christ! His mind, the mind, the mind, the tongue, the tongue, the voice, the voice. The voice must be used for God. The tongue must be used for God. The hands and every part of his body must be used for God. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Pull out poverty. He was given a prophetic message that he would serve God in prosperity and not in poverty. I send fire to the ancient root of poverty. In him and his family, and I command such evil rules to be completely uprooted and totally destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! Uh, 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 Let the tree of poverty, generational curses, be destroyed. Uh, 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 I sell fire to the kidney. The kidney. Uh, the kidney! The kidney! Turn the name of Jesus Christ! These are spiritual operations taking place which cannot be done with physical hands. I send more fire to the kidney. The liver, the intestine. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. And I command the poisons of Satan to be flushed out of him. You cannot hide in his stomach. You cannot hide, you Lucifer, in his stomach. I send fire to your base. Uh, His stomach. Uh, uh, your throne there. Uh, 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 Turn uh, your throne. Turn uh, your throne. Turn uh, your throne. Turn uh, 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 your double uh, throne inside of him. Turn. I command your evil throne inside of him to be completely destroyed. The walls of Jericho were pulled down. I command satanic walls, satanic thrones, satanic territories to be completely destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Territories of Lucifer, territories of snake, territories of spirit of Antichrist and spirit of death. Holy Ghost, 
Turn the name of Jesus Christ. He must go home with complete freedom. Deliverance? No. It has already been done. He must go back home with eternal life, salvation, forgiveness, complete healing, complete freedom. Total restoration of everything you have destroyed. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to the spirit of infertility, infection. Shoulder, the back where you are hiding, where you are moving, you snack. Turn the back, turn the spine, turn, 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 turn. In the air, Holy Ghost, turn. In the water, Holy Ghost, turn. On the earth, Holy Ghost, turn. In darkness. Holy Ghost, I send fire to all nations. All nations on earth, and I command your evil spiritual territories to be completely destroyed. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. No hiding place. His complete freedom has come. The moment of his salvation is now. I send fire to his journey back home. And I command the spirit of death. Plane crash. Accidents. To be completely consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. This is the city of Jesus International Ministry where complete deliverance, total salvation, and all the good things of heaven always happen. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Now I command his soul, his spirit and body, to be taken out of your evil kingdoms. Move out! Move! Out of the kingdom of darkness. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Move! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, move! Move! He is being taken out of the kingdom of darkness. And he's being placed 
into the kingdom of light forever. <clears throat> Turn the devil, Jesus Christ. spirit and a new body. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. His heart belongs to God. to the river of affliction in him and I command that river the source of this sickness and disease to be dried up and consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit forever the Holy Ghost turn the name of Jesus Christ his memory to be restored back. His mind and mental reasoning to be restored back to him forever. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! <laughs> There are two personalities here. The spirit of God and evil spirits. The evil spirit cannot help. They are always there in a place to destroy. God says, if you cannot help, don't destroy. The Holy Spirit is always our helper from above ever ready to help, ever ready to save, ever ready to restore what Satan has destroyed. And that is what the Spirit of God is doing here. We want you to prayer for all. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! I send the light of God into him and I command anything that represents darkness not only to be exposed, but to be dispelled forever. 
Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light. Remember that physical hands have never been used to do the job. The deliverance is purely spiritual. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! Thank you, Lord, for at last you have set him free. I send fire to God's giving ministry and I command all satanic influences that are hovering, ganging up to stand against this to be completely destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit forever. Turn the name of Jesus Christ! Oh. 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 Right now receive permanent deliverance. Deliverance that will last forever. Permanent healing in the name of Jesus Christ. The healing and the deliverance that will last forever. Turn the name of oh. Jesus Christ. I sell fire to Indian Ocean, <coughs> Bermuda Triangle, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Red Sea, Mediterranean Sea. I sell fire to the sun, to the moon, Blue Sea. Marine gold and sights in your nation. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. and diseases that are hiding, mentioned and not mentioned, discovered or yet to be discovered, I command all of them to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit now. And I send more fire to his blood, his blood, his cells, his tissues, his organs, his systems, his skin. The name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. I hope you understand that there is time for everything. 
<sighs> Yesterday was the time for them to listen to the message. See for themselves what has been happening. Basically, we are the city of Jesus International. <sighs> ministry. God decided to shift their deliverance. Today, being Monday, think about the way a man of God attends to people. The way a man of God attends to people is you cannot give God time. He has to give you his own time. When God gave me the time of the deliverance of this man, I simply listened and obeyed. And that is why you are seeing the You cannot force anything when it is not God's time. God's time brings about the result. God cannot even manipulate his own time. You that do things without identifying God's time, waiting for God's time, whose agent are you? These are the things that make you spiritually arrogant. That is spiritual pride. God. Holy Ghost, tell the name of Jesus Christ. Pull all the garments, the evil chains. The evil chains. Oh. Defeat. Oh. Defeat. 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 such power to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. The waste. 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 Turn the waste. Turn the spine. The spine. The spine. Turn on the evil powers that are hiding there. The mind, the head, the eyes, the tongue. Send fire to his dream world. No. All evil delicacies, satanic foods, satanic drinks, satanic poisons. I command all of them to be destroyed and I send fire to the spirit of evil attacks, nightmares, sexual dreams, Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. All satanic avenues, routes through which you have been entering him again and again, possessing him, manipulating him, and destroying him, I command all of them to be sealed up by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, through the name of Jesus Christ. You that always attend service on Sundays, but are not willing to wait patiently to get a note 
that will enable you come for one on one like this. Come to the prayer room here of the City of Jesus International Ministry for another spiritual encounter. Whose agent are you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. That is the last stage. The forces are coming out and will never enter him anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for giving him a new heart, a new soul, a new spirit, a new direction, a new purpose, a new vision, a new mission in Christ forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, at last, he is totally free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and the evil spirits in him are completely destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What have you been set free from? An evil spirit. Could you remember their names? I don't know. Lucifer spoke. Okay. And other forces of darkness. Satan was there. Snake was there. Okay. Spiritual wife, the queen of the coast, was also there. Yeah. Which is a wizard. The ancestral spirit. They were hiding in you. So God has set you free and flushed out the poisonous substances they planted in you. And also set you free from mental problems thank you, thank and you, depression Jesus. and suicidal thoughts. Thank you, Jesus, for freeing me. And thank you to the man of God for praying for me. What did you encounter during the prayers? Uh, it's like in and out, in and out. Um, How do you mean? Explain. Feel free and talk. Um, I remember some things and I don't remember some things. It's just I was in and out of conscious. What did you remember? Uh, when it's coming out. What was coming out of you? Uh, black substances. There are things on the floor. Yeah. You can see what is on the floor? Yes. Who vomited then? Yeah, this, I don't know. I uh, uh, vomited these poisonous substances. I don't even know what they are. I don't know how it uh, got into me as well. Today. I thank the Lord for freeing me today, for delivering me from these poisonous substances, and I thank the man of God, Christopher, here at City of Jesus International Ministries. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much to the man of God, Christopher, as well. Thank you so much. Lucifer claimed that he appeared to you yesterday. What did you notice? I had a dream of his. It was uh, main, mainly in, uh, in my mind. What did Lucifer say to your mind? He's saying, um, telling me to leave and to, uh, that I would never be free. They were telling you to leave the service yes. of and the leave. city of Jesus yes. International Ministry. You should leave the premises. Yes, and to, and that I would never be free. Who is now a liar, Satan or God? Satan. Satan. Are you not free now? Yes. Check yourself. What have you been set free from? What about from the very Lucifer that said you will never be free? Yes, I've been free from the spirit of Lucifer. I told him lies. And I've been free today. He's Lucifer is alive. Now check yourself. In the past, you have poor syndrome. What did you complain that you had before concerning your stomach? Um, I would uh, feel pain and tightness. What did the doctor call it? Uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, I was completely healthy before, and uh, doctors don't know why it happened to me too. Uh, it's just out of the blue. No idea why. But now, after the deliverance, check yourself. How are you now? What about the symptoms? How are you? Are you free or not? The stomach is good. Meaning? It's, uh, it's free. From toxic substances from the stomach. Meaning you're free from? From the stomach, uh, from the spirit of Lucifer. What about your mental reasoning? Check yourself, check your mind. What about your mind? Are you okay? Are you still suicidal? Do you still want to kill yourself? Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to kill myself. No more suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. What about spirit of lust? In the past, you were full of lust and other addictions. Now you are delivered. Yes. Check. Are you delivered yes. from the spirit of lust? Yes, delivered from spirit of lust. Yes. What yes. about from depression, anxiety, and the like? Yes, none of that. You are delivered from? Yes, from the uh, spirit of depression, spirit of anxiety. Yes. Good. You have been watching online programs of the City of Jesus International Ministry, where the minister of God here has been used by God to attend to people from all races all around the world, whether you're dark skinned or fake colored. 
many people receive their deliverances online. Here you are, here at the prayer room of the City of Jesus International Ministry physically. What did you encounter that made you believe that what you have been watching online is real and not fake? What happened today was very real. It's, it's surreal. The power of God is so strong over here. I can't even put into words all like the experience that I just had just now. Um, it's, it's completely what I've um, expected more. I did. The power of God is just so immense. The city of Jesus International Ministry is here. And I'm um, just so grateful to God uh, for me to be able to experience the power of God here. Did you pay any money to be prayed for, delivered, and even accommodated? No, I didn't. We didn't pay a single cent to be here, uh, to be prayed for, even to be welcomed into the city of Jesus National Ministry, to be accommodated, and to be fed as well. I'm truly, truly blessed and grateful to the city of Jesus National Ministries, and the man of God here, the man of God Christopher, for welcoming us and here. You know, the security here is just perfect. Uh, we, we feel completely safe throughout our entire stay, throughout our entire time here at the City of Jesus and Parish and Ministry. We have been with you. And we highly, highly encourage uh, friends and family around the world to visit here and truly experience the power of God personally and meet God here face to face and uh, to experience this phenomenal the movement of God here, city of Jesus International Ministries. All right, what process would you advise anyone who wants to visit the city of Jesus International Ministry to follow? Do you advise them to send email to visit at coaching.org yeah, so. and wait for invitation before they come? so that they can be taken care of by the ministry. If yes, advise them. So uh, before you come to the city of Jesus International Ministries, uh, please email uh, the church email. Uh, you can find it on the cojam.org, uh, c-o-j-i-m.org. Email and you can uh, fill out a, a form, a visitation form, and, uh, and you will receive a reply from the church you should um, await the response before um, planning any um, uh, scheduling, scheduling any visit before you come. Which email should they send their request to visit to? Uh, so you should send an email to visit at cojim.org, uh, visit at cojim.org uh, to, to visit uh, the, the church here before you make any plans. All right. What have you received now that you have never received anywhere before? What have you received now that made you believe that you are going out to work for God and live and glorify Him with your character, with your words, with your thoughts, with your spirit, soul, and body? So today I received the Lord's deliverance, uh, which freed me from the advantages of life, and, uh, which will enable me to pursue God's calling for my life and his, uh, my destiny to fulfill His plan for my life, and I'm just free from all the bondages of, of all the dark forces that are holding me back before. And I, I'm just truly grateful for the Lord today for His deliverance over my life. All right, now we want to hear from you. You witnessed everything from the beginning to the end how the prayer started and what happened to the event. We want you to give account of what you experienced when the prayer was going, what you noticed in what happened when it was being prayed for. <laughs> Uh, she truly felt the presence of God here tonight, the power of God, truly tangible, and uh, she felt it throughout the entire prayer. What did she see? There were evil voices speaking. What did she hear? Ask her. 
She said, um, she's never seen this kind of thing before. She's also very shocked at the same time of what happened to me. And, but she's, um, it, it's truly eye opening experience for her today. Who has delivered the young man here? Ask her. She said the power of the, the power of God, the fire of the Holy Spirit, and God would truly use the man of God Christopher here tonight to deliver. Alright, once again, who has delivered you? You are to speak. Who has set you free now? God has set me free today through men of God Christopher here tonight. I'm truly, truly thankful and grateful for the Lord for everything he's done for me. All right. We want her to reintroduce herself, say everything in her language. What she has been telling you in her own language, in your language. She has to say that and face the camera and speak loud. Go ahead. <laughs> ค่ะวันนี้ประสบวันนี้ประสบการณ์ที่ปั้นนะคะเป็นประสบการณ์แรกเลยค่ะที่ขับผีอะไรพวกนี้ค่ะตั้งแต่ในชีวิตไม่เ
So you are no longer mentally debate to the glory of God. So continue to dwell in the word of God. Jesus tells you to abide in him and let him abide, meaning abide in the word of God. And let the word of God abide in you. If you do, you become fruitful. Whatever you ask God to do for you, according to his will, he will answer you and grant them. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Give you a brand new copy Jesus. of your Bible. Thank you so much. A new Bible. And we are going to give you a copy of a new Bible. And I'm going to sign it for you. Thank you so much for coming. Wow. Is a copy of the new Bible for you as well, so you can maintain your relationship and fellowship with God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And here again is for you. And you have here. Cordium t shirt. Wow, thank you, my God. Thank you so much. And also, Cordium stick wow. for your car. Thank you so much. Wow. This thank is you. for you. Thank you. The same thing. Cordium t shirt and Cordium sticker thank for your you car. So much. Thank you. Thank you so much, City of Jesus International Ministries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you.